Year zero. I graduate with a degree in computer science. I was just a normal kid wondering what it meant to be cool. I joined programming competitions and had done internships at Sun Microsystems and Microsoft. Year one. I get my first job at Sony Pictures in Hollywood. Seventy-five k. Pretty good. I worked on a 3D graphics visualization tool for movie special effects like Spider-Man. I'd go to movie premieres, concerts, anime expos, car drift shows, and the trendy company parties. In my spare time, I'd build silly websites using a funny language (PHP) that I had taught myself. Most apps were pretty bad, but fun. Eventually, I started working on a dating app I named Connections. It wasn't growing, so I added a virtual economy and renamed it Human Pets. The app goes viral, generating three hundred dollars per day in ad revenue. At first, I thought it would just be fun dinner money, but it became more. I started spending my evenings and weekends building out the website, handling server crashes as the app generates two thousand dollars a day. If I had worked all night, I would need to take the next day off work. I loved the work, but it wasn't really a choice for me. I just didn't have time for both. And by the end of the year, I quit my job. Year two, for my birthday, I get myself a one-way ticket to London. I figured I could work from anywhere in the world, and since they speak English there, it'd be a good base. But I'm disappointed by the city. It's all business and noisy pubs. I can't find Wi-Fi, so I spend most of the days working out of the Apple Store, standing on my feet. I visit friends and Italy too, stopping by Paris, Florence, Rome. Mid-year, I return home and began working on a new app idea, a series of web-based RPG games, and it goes viral, generating 5k a day. Zynga offers to acquire it for 500k, but I reject the offer. Perhaps foolishly, because if I had taken the offer, well, Zynga later goes on to IPO. But regardless, I take off for Hawaii for three weeks, where I work from hotel lobbies, teaching myself windsurfing every other day. I celebrate Christmas aboard a cruise ship in the Caribbean. It sounds all fun, but I was fairly stressed throughout it all. Year three. Begins as I get into stock trading and technical analysis. I needed to learn how to invest. My commodities trades go well, and I am up seventy percent. This year for my birthday, I gift myself an extended trip back to Japan. It's the first time I go back since having studied abroad there nine years ago. I couldn't believe I had let so much time pass. I visit Kyoto and Miyajima with a side trip to Hong Kong. I'd continue to work on bringing my apps to other platforms like Twitter, while adding new features. However, my projects fail to gain traction, and I find myself returning home. I join a web gaming startup, and that Christmas, I buy myself a DSLR camera with my new income. Year four begins as I quit my job once more. My brother and I co-found an LLC to build a portfolio of apps and games. We name it Avalanche, borrowed from the Rebellion group name in Final Fantasy VII. Our games gain popularity, and soon I leave for New York. I wanted to better understand such an iconic city, and I wanted to be on the same time zone as Wall Street too, so that I could trade properly. But New York was so hot and humid in the summer; it lost its appeal to me. After six months, I gave it up and went home. I decided to start a new job at a startup where my sister was working, so it was fun to see her every day. I celebrate Christmas at home that year. Year five begins in Japan again. I had learned motorcycling and pre-ordered a Ducati to remember the craziness of last year, but at the last minute, I canceled the order, quit my job at the failing startup, and returned to Japan instead. Unlike previously, I had more assets this time to enjoy the travel, and I figured it would be a different experience. For my birthday, I go to Thailand, Vietnam, and Cambodia in search of Angkor Wat. It is fantastic. In March, I visit Taiwan for three weeks, getting to finally know my cousins. 
The Fukushima nuclear disaster occurs then, and I abandon my flight back to Japan instead returning home to California again. With the regrets of New York from the prior year still in my head, I revisit the city with determination this time. I get a nicer apartment with a window desk so that I could actually work. However, few of the apps succeeded like before. Meanwhile, I'd heard of a European backpacking route. So in September, I sublet out my room and book a one way ticket to Switzerland. It is the most fun I've had in years. And I meet so many people. The route takes me through Italy into the Cote de Azor, through southern Spain, before I grew tired of seeing museums and my feet grew blisters. By winter, I visit Kauai, Hawaii, and make my first video as a test. In December, I obtain high end DSLR video cameras and return to Japan to film Tokyo and Kyoto. These would be the start of my video channel, Blue Eden. This year, I had launched a number of web projects, but none really worked out. Year six begins as I return to New York to reclaim my apartment. I stay until the end of the lease and then return to California. I prefer the casual tech culture of Silicon Valley. I asked myself what I wanted and I thought 150K would be my number. So I applied to Groupon and tell them what I want, and they agree. So I take up a position as web developer and live in San Francisco. Several months in, though, the product bored me, and the commute from San Francisco to the office in Palo Alto was absolutely brutal. So I quit and took a break, spending the rest of the year filming time lapse videos of the British Virgin Islands and the Utah Grand Circle. I was driven by the idea of youth, health, time, and money, and I wanted to maximize them while I had it. After that, I wasn't sure what to do anymore, but thought I'd go back to Japan to visit my brother and I celebrated Christmas there. Year 7 begins in Japan where I meet a girl. She catches my attention and I decide to extend my stay a little bit longer. With my photography knowledge, I also began development on a new software program which would become Panel Labs a software for time lapses that would turn out to become a success. Meanwhile, I had struck a sponsorship with a selling company based on a prior video in the British Virgin Islands, and they wanted me to do another one in the Bahamas. I bring my girlfriend back to California, and we go film in the Bahamas. In July, we continue to film in Alaska. In August, Yellowstone, and in September, Maui. By the end of the year, we returned back to Japan, where we spent time living in Tokyo, Yokohama, Osaka, and Kyoto. I returned home for Christmas. Year 8 begins back in California. I buy a MacBook as a late Christmas gift for myself, and I also buy an engagement ring. I invite my girlfriend to California, where we take a trip to Las Vegas. In February, we, we visit Iceland for my birthday, but there I also propose under the aurora, and she says yes. In April, we visit Japan again and make a side trip to the tropical island of Guam. During that time, I also began work on iOS apps and bringing Elven Blood onto the iOS platform. It is a small success, and I bring my fiance to the US with a spousal visa. Meanwhile, I began applying to jobs and land a position at Google. We celebrate our bright future in Disneyland. In year 9, we hold a marriage ceremony in Thailand, where again we have a sailboat with a sponsorship from the sailing company. We honeymoon the next month in Hawaii. By October, we get a puppy, Sunny, and my wife gets pregnant. Sensing that I won't be traveling for a long time, I get a PlayStation for Christmas. In year 10, my wife gives birth to a son. With a baby, a puppy, and a full-time job, I finally settle down and get to work, taking on my mantle as the tech lead. <laughs>